I can actually study part of my MBA, my full-time one-year MBA, mm -hmm. abroad. Mm -hmm. did, did I get that right? Yes, you did. Yes. So I can go to Dubai for three months? No, you wouldn't go for three months. You would go to do one class. So our first um, ventures into, into the Middle East made us amongst the first. Again, it's that pioneering spirit. We want to be where others haven't been. Um, and we want to pioneer, we want to open up new markets. So that's really why. Is there something common to those locations? Is there a thread that runs through no. it? They just happen to be where they are? Because they're, they're, they're places where we have um, looked at where there is a need um, and a demand for this kind of education. So at the moment, and I'm not going to give away secrets, um, but at the moment we're looking at new markets again um, as to where we can expand and develop the concept of MBA teaching. So it's a sort of a franchise model mm. that, that, that Strathclyde MBA exists in several No, it's not a, it's, well, I wouldn't call it a franchise, but that's only because I'm probably being overly technical about well, what please, a franchise is. Technical. It's not a franchise in the sense that when you franchise your business, you give your your technology, in our case it's learning technology, and I'm not talking just about IT, I'm talking people. about intellectual property. You give that to other people to deliver for you. That's what you know, Body Shop does, that's what McDonald's do in the franchise operation. We don't. We have our people in those locations doing the teaching, facilitating the learning. Being seems, a, there are three pillars. There's doing, knowing, and being. Yes. A lot of schools talk about doing and knowing. Yes. And there's a debate which is the right way around for doing and being. Uh, doing and knowing, but being, mm -hmm. uh, what is that? Is it not doing something? Is it not knowing something? What's this being pillar? You can gain lots of knowledge, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you, about management, without actually doing management. So I think then there's a skill in doing management, but I think that the skills in doing management, in managing, right, I think that those are made sharper by a greater self of sense, of, a greater sense of self-awareness in how you operate. So not just what you do or what you know, but how you enact what it is you are. It might be in some people's minds about values, about the values that you adopt as a, as a manager, as an individual and how you operate with other people. Is that being? Yeah, I think that's being. Yeah. So being is is a composite of knowing and doing? Or? That's an interesting question. Um, I, I think you have to know things before you can do things, and I think you have to be doing things in order to be able to develop an awareness of how you do it. So for me, I think implicitly, and I ha this is, this is un unresearched for me, um, so it's an interesting question that you ask, but I think the being has to, I think there's a hierarchy there. I think you, that, that you know before you do, before you are. But I think all three are required to really become the kind of, of leader. And I don't mean a great leader as in, as in a leader of a, you know, a multi-million or billion pound empire. You can lead a small team, but I think to lead effectively, you need to have an awareness of your impact. And I think that's the being piece. Now, I don't want to split hairs here because I am passionately um, in favour of all learning. And I don't actually believe there's such a thing as useless learning. But nonetheless, if you walk around the campus here and you say, what is Strathclyde about to almost anybody? They will know this phrase, a place of useful learning. And it's something that gives us a, you know, an organisational glue that, that binds us together. If business schools should be responsible for something as important as education. Mm -hmm. uh, business school is a business at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You have a marketing team, you need students to sign up for the course to have enough yeah. funds to run everything. But to, to try to educate people on the one hand and have that pressure of being a, a business on the other, mm -hmm. is it realistic? Business disciplines, business subjects, let's not call them all disciplines, are founded on some of the, the very major big disciplines of psychology, sociology, um, anthropology, because you know, business is an entirely and intensely human activity. So it has to involve all of those elements.